in this lectures you will learn how to add smart fasteners in an assembly our next step will be to convert these smart fasteners into board connections in a simulation study then you will carry out the simulations of those board connections by defining board contact and and the end of this mission will the evaluation of stresses axial and shear and bending or torque in a bolt so please be here in order to learn these are all topics first of all we will add smart fasteners download you can download this 3d model from uh, link given in video descriptions so go to smart fastener here is an error let's say the smart fastener requires solidworks toolbox which is not present okay no problem go to library and click on toolbox add in now wait you can see here that toolbox has been added again go to smart fastener okay in selection box select populate all if you are new to please subscribe our solid box channel you can see here that three allen head bolt has been added to this assembly here is the size of that bolt and here is the length of the bolt and head type or drive type is hexagonal and thread length is 1.375 inch you can change these values to your requirement cancel changing the length will clear the auto update length option okay no problem so okay in this way we have added three boards to this assembly so this was our first point now go to servers add-ins and here you will add simulation modules that has already been added here so click on simulations make a new study and give it a specific name that is bolt analysis ensure that static study has been selected and you can see here that the convert here is a checkbox option that convert toolbox fasteners to bolt connectors yes check it okay so these three bolts will be converted into bolt here you can see the message that three simulation bolt connector were successfully created in two seconds okay now assign material to this bracket and this wall this is the wall and this is bracket select both materials apply edit material and assign ai si304 apply close so you can note here that material has been added so from connections ensure that material of this bolt is alloy steel so go to the edit definitions sorry expand it and right click on and at any bolt
here is the properties of the bolt that is the bolt head diameter and that is the bolt shank diameter and collector type is distributed from material you can see other steel has been selected you can change the material from selecting other materials here the by default values of the materials and here the strength data blah 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 okay so we have ensured that the material of elastine has been assigned to these three boards and from connections right click on edit definitions for global interactions here are is the are the three types of component interactions that is bonded contact and free so we will select contact type component interactions and we will leave other values default so contact type global interaction has been added now add the fixtures fix geometry select this face and okay so fixed fixture has been applied to this part now apply load on the top face of this bracket course select this face and apply force of 300 newton that is about 30 kg anything has been placed on this bracket right click on mesh and create mesh and from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh and leave the element size as well as minimum element size default subscribe our channel for more SOLIDWORKS as well as ANSYS simulations so much has been generated now it's time to run the simulation study so run the study now and wait until your simulation study completed you can see the convergence plot that will show your progress of this study so simulation study has been completed now check the stress on this assembly that is the one my stress is change units to megapascal floating so maximum stress is, is about 80 megapascals that is very less than that of the yield strength of material that is 206 megapascal we can check the factor of safety define factor of safety plot for all bodies ok so factor of safety is 2.6 and here is the displacement value or plot so maximum displacement is 0.49 millimeter added definition and change its scale that is 50 in order to get proper visualization right click on displacement and animate so you can see the behavior uh, behavior of this bracket 
under applied load and our last step is to check the stresses axial stress shear stresses as well as bending moments in these three boards in order to check all these parameters right click on results and uh, here is the list connector force from options select connectors you can see the shear stress values axial stress values as well as bending moment for each board and for this board is the shear stress value axial as well as bending moment and this is the shear stress value so maximum shear stresses occur for this type of for this board that is 81 megapascal and for this board is about 19 megapascal sorry 19 newton and for that is 81 newton or about 82 newton and here is the bending moment values so in this way today we learn how we can evaluate it how we can convert our small fasteners into bolt connection and how to evaluate different stresses as well as movements in bolts so please make a practice of this lecture and don't forget to subscribe and share our channel thank you for your time take care bye bye